Hello, hello. How are you? We are a little dark today. I don't have an extra light bulb in my basement, so hopefully you'll have enough light to see me. I didn't realize that the light was gonna burn out. I think we should be good there. Yeah, that should be good, okay. Yeah, and I have a little bit of black on, so it might be a little harder. Oh. for a little. So today, you really don't need much. Maybe if you have a towel or a block or your chair, just keep them close. We're going to do some shoulder openers and some shoulder stretches. Also work with our feet and our toes a little bit, which will be kind of different and fun. Plus get some core work in, of course, as usual. We'll just wait a couple more minutes and make sure we start at seven. Thanks for joining me again. This is our second week in our six week series, which is wonderful and awesome. It's always good to have you guys back. Hope you enjoyed today. I heard it's going to snow tomorrow. Hopefully they uh, took that back and said it's not going to snow. I hope. I don't want it to snow. I'm done with that snow. All right, we have nine. That's wonderful. We have one more minute, maybe 30 seconds, and we'll get started. Also, make sure you drink enough water. Water's so good. Even if you don't like the taste of it, maybe squeeze some lemon in there. Really the best thing you can do for your body. You should take your weight, divide it by two. That's how many ounces of water you should have during the day. And if you work out, it's more than that. I'm actually trying to work on my uptake of water. I'm working on it little by little every day. All right, let's get started. How are you all? I hope you're doing well tonight. Like I said, we're going to work with shoulders, a little bit of feet, our toes. We're going to stretch and do some mobility work. Um, the feet and the toes are kind of interesting. It's something that I don't work on at all. So I noticed a lot of these things we're going to do, I really can't do either. So, um, you know, when we start to stretch through your toes, don't get frustrated. It does take time for sure. So let's start in a comfortable seated position. And if your legs are crossed, we're going to take one leg in front of the other. You can also take them straight out in front of you if that feels better. We're going to just lay your wrists on top of your knees, allow your shoulders to relax down your back and allow your chin to drop to your chest. From here, we're taking deep breaths and exhaling. Both sounds are audible, your inhale, allowing that belly to expand, your exhale, your belly is pulling in. You are letting out all the air. Good job. Maybe have your eyes closed if that feels better. Keep your shoulders relaxed here. And if you notice the shoulders starting to creep up by your ears, gently roll them back and down. Maybe even take pointer finger and attach it to your thumb just to keep that energy rolling around inside of your body.
And maybe this evening, pick a mantra, a mantra of your choice, something positive, something that you can repeat to yourself for the rest of the evening. I am good enough. Maybe I am beautiful. Maybe I am well. Those are just some options. And let's take one more breath. Now notice how your breath feels and throughout the class, occasionally check in with your breath and make sure that your belly is rising. And as you exhale, you are letting out all the air. Then it becomes a habit and you do it all day long, really. It helps to relax you. Start to wiggle your fingers. Good, wiggle the toes. And let's take an inhale here. Reach the arms up, your chin lifts to the sky. And let's exhale, take the hands behind you, chin back down to your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now taking the arms forward and we're rounding your back, chin to chest. Inhale, taking the arms back and arching. Take them at your own pace. Really starting to wake up the upper body. Feels really good on my back. And let's take it down, crawling your hands forward. Or maybe sliding forward. If you have a slippery surface like I do on my floor, let's slide back and take the hands to the right and reach out. And take it back in, take the arms out to the left. And pull in. Good, another inhale here, just because it feels good. Exhale, take the arms behind. Let's come up to hands and knees in our tabletop pose. So nice and strong here, your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Keep that long, neutral, strong spine. Pull the shoulders back, your gaze is down at your mat. We're gonna roll your toes under now. So we're rolling under, we're gonna to start to settle back to the heels and come back to your tabletop. Good. Just warming up your toes too before we start to work on our toes and our feet a little here. And maybe keep the toes rolled under as we go through a few cat and cows. Let's start with the tailbone rolling all the way up to the crown. Tailbone lowers and we drop the crown. Inhale as you look up and we exhale, looking down. Shoulders pull away from the ears. And we're pressing through the hands. Our belly is tight into our spine. And we find that neutral spine again. We can rock our hips back and forth here. Now let's start with our toes. So we're rolling them under, sitting back on the heels a little more than we did before. If that is not feeling that great, I want you to take your toes to touch, take the knees out a little wider, and then settle back to your heels. And if you're comfortable there, you can crawl your hands forward, lay your head on a block or not. You don't need the block. So your chin can be on the mat. Your forehead can be on the mat. Whatever's really feeling good to your body right at this moment. Taking a few breaths here. You should feel a nice stretch through your toes. 
through your back. Good, now let's roll it up to our tabletop position. And I am going to face you, you can definitely face me. We're sitting on our sits bones here. If it is impossible for you to sit on your sits bones and you are back rounded like this. I want you to prop your hips up with a blanket or even fold your mat a couple times. So you're up a little higher there so you can stay comfortable. <clears throat> okay, so our feet are out in front of us. We're sitting tall, our shoulders are relaxed. We're gonna just start to wiggle our toes. Good. We're wiggling back and forth, waking up our toes. Really the muscles in our toes and our feet are things we don't think about very often. We just take it for granted. <clears throat> so today we're gonna work on the toes individually. So I want you to think about your pinky toe now in your mind and start to move your pinky toes on each foot. If you move them out, if you move them forward and back, we're trying to focus just on the pinky. I know it's almost impossible, but just try it. Connect your pinky, maybe on the right first, and then on the left, try just to move that pinky. Okay, as hard as that is, now we're gonna take the next toe in next to the pinky. Start to move that one. Now that one for me is almost impossible to move unless I'm moving my pinky toe and my big toe. It's just kind of interesting. And now your third toe. So the middle toe. It's the little piggy that stayed home. And then try to move that on its own. Not happening in my world. It may be easy for you. Okay, second toe over from your big toe. Try to move that. <laughs> and then your big toes were moving, which should be a little easier. Although I still can't move my big toes without moving the rest of my toes. Now let's roll through each toe. So we'll start with the pinky, the next toe, the middle toe, the toe next to the big toe and then the big toe. So we're gonna kind of roll from all the way down to all the way up. Good, we're just doing one foot right now. Sorry, I didn't specify. It's kind of hard to do, but we're trying to roll through that. All right, now let's take it on the other side from your pinky to your big toe, from your big toe to your pinky, <laughs> one at a time. I'm glad I don't have light above the computer today because what's going on with my toes is just crazy right now. <laughs> you might have the same thing. Now let's try both feet. So we're gonna try from the pinky toes of both feet all the way to the big toe, from the big toe all the way to the little toe. <laughs> Definitely can't get them to connect at the same time. All right, interesting. Let's now bend the right leg and we're gonna pull the left foot in toward us a little bit. So the knee is bent. We're gonna take your left hand and press it into the top of the left foot. We're pressing down all of the toes except for your big toe right now. So gently press them down. We're gonna lift the big toe up and down, just working through that muscle there. Good. Now we're helping to keep the other toes down as we lift and lower that toe. Notice how the other toes fight you to come up. <laughs> now let's separate and allow the second toe to be free and press gently on the big toes and the other three. We're gonna try to lift that second toe up by itself. Good. This is something you can start to do maybe once a week just to wake these toes up, <clears throat> which is actually pretty important as we age. You want all of your toes to be working. Now let's try just the third toe. 
So press the other toes down and allow that third toe to be free. Lift it up and down. My big toe wants to do everything the other toes are doing. Good. Now the second toe to last, so we're the one right next to your pinky, let's lift and lower that toe. Oh yeah, see mine doesn't, oh, there we go. Good job, good job. And now just your pinky toe, lift it and lower it. Oh, my pinky wants to do some things. It's just not moving. Now this same foot, <clears throat> we're going to take and cross it over the other leg. You can definitely have this leg straight out in front of you, however you are comfortable here. We're gonna take your right hand and the fingers of the right hand in between the toes of the left foot. So maybe only go up to your first knuckles on your fingers. We're gonna separate the toes. Good. Now that may not feel the best, but it's pretty awesome to be able to separate those toes give them some more blood flow here. Now maybe taking the other hand, lifting your ankle, we're gonna just help that ankle to move back and forth. We're not forcing anything. Good, and then maybe press down and up, working through our ankle a little bit here. Good, now circles. And take it in a circle, three in one direction and three in the opposite direction. Nice. Now take that foot out. You should notice that you're able to separate those toes a little more on this foot than you can on the foot that we did not work on yet. It's pretty interesting. So let's pull that foot in now and have it press against the mat. You can also still have this other leg straight out. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're pressing all four of the toes, except for your big toe down to the mat. Let's lift that toe up and down. Another thing I noticed too is I broke a couple bones in my foot a few years ago. And it's pretty interesting to me how that foot does not function as well. Good, good. All right, now we're pressing the big toe down and lifting the second toe up and down. Hmm, this one's pretty good. And let's, Press the big toe and the second toe, the last two toes, and allow that middle toe to be free. Lift it up and down. My middle toe doesn't want to do a thing. Oh, there it goes. Wonderful. Now, the second to the last toe. Good, and then your pinky toe. Allow it to lift and lower. Hmm. Yeah, this pinky doesn't want to do anything. It's not boogieing, that's for sure. Isn't the pinky the one that was the boogie woogie pinky? <laughs> All right, let's release that and cross that foot over. And take the left hand, just the fingers. And press in between the toes, separating the toes. Now, if you have more of a space between your toes, you can stick your whole hand in there in your fingers and just allow your fingers to drop over top of your foot. If that's not a possibility, then just stay where you are. Good, now let's move that foot. Side to side, back and forth, and in circles. Good. 
Good, nice job. Let's take both feet out and the toes are happy and separated. They feel much better. Good, let's inhale. <clears throat> and we exhale, let's come back to our tabletop position. Now here we're lifting our hips in downward dog, pedal your heels down. We'll start working with our shoulders a little bit here. So let's take our feet out a little wider, our hips up a little higher. We're going, going to make sure that our shoulders are away from our ears as we squeeze our belly in and drop our right underarm down toward our mat. And then our left underarm. Now we're going to add a bend to our knees here. So as we press our right underarm down, we're going to bend the right knee and kind of take our gaze over to the left. And then we're switching sides. So the right underarm goes down as the right knee bends, the left underarm goes down as the left knee bends. Just take it side to side here. Nice job. And we drop our knees gently to our mat, taking our right hand now. Make sure you have a firm position here, neutral, strong spine, <clears throat> which means your shoulders are not up by your ears. And you should be able to lay a PVC pipe on your back here and it shouldn't move. We're gonna take your right hand behind your head, opening that elbow. Now your belly is nice and tight here. We're going to lift the elbow slightly, allow the hand to come up from there. So you're opening that shoulder a little, straightening the arm, taking the palm now up to the ceiling, and we're starting to make a half circle. So we're taking it to the back where we're going to tuck that hand into the small of our back. So the palm is up to the ceiling now and we're gonna open the elbow. As you do, you're rotating your body, opening up, good. Keep that shoulder down, relax down back to that neutral spine, straighten the arm out behind you. Then we're gonna rotate the palm so it's facing up, making that half circle, tucking it behind the head bringing it back down. I'm going to shift so you can see me on the other side. Now we're taking your left hand behind your head. Now during this movement, before we open the elbow, we're trying to keep your shoulders and your hips parallel to the mat. So really squeeze your belly button into your spine. Let's open that elbow, take the hand up, reach it out. Rotate the palm, open up, tuck that hand behind you. Nice. Start to open the elbow and this is where you're going to rotate. Try to open up here. Nice job. And let's release your shoulders and your hips are square to your mat. Release the hand, face the palm up and forward. Take the arm up and let's tuck the hand behind the head. Release. Wonderful job. If you need to rock and release any of those muscles, go ahead and do that. We're taking the right hand now, feeding it through the left side as we allow that shoulder to come down to the mat. And our gaze is looking at that hand, keeping the hips up. And now crawling the left hand forward, we're gonna to start to settle back to the heels. Good, keep that shoulder getting a little closer to the mats. And then we're gonna scooch forward as the hips come back up. And let's release. 
Now we're taking the same hand we crossed over. We're taking it forward. The palm is facing in. And let's drop your forehead to your mat. You can also take your chin down to your mat. Keep breathing. Let's release that stretch. Walk your hands back under your shoulders, back to that neutral, strong spine. Wonderful job. How are you doing out there? I know you're rocking it. You're all amazing. I'm going to move my mat a little bit because on this side, I may hit the closet doors here. We're taking our left hand now and feeding it through the right side as that shoulder comes a little closer to the mat. We're looking over to that side. You should feel a nice stretch through your upper back and the back of your shoulder. And let's curl back. We're having a seat on our heels. The arm is still reaching over with the palm up. And come forward, the hips lift back up. Good job, keep breathing through the stretch. Especially if it's a hard stretch for you, the tendency is to hold your breath, but you wanna try not to do that. Now the hand that was crossed over, we're gonna slide it forward. So the palm is facing in or taking your forehead or your chin down to your mat. Your shoulder is relaxed. Your hips are still up in the air. Just breathe. And let's release. Nice job. Cool. Now this time we're taking both arms to the front. So let's take toes to touch, knees come out wide. We're settling back into our child's pose and taking our arms out in front with our palms facing each other. Your chin or your forehead is on your mat and your hips settle back as far as you are comfortable. You can feel a nice stretch here, but no pain. We're still breathing. You should feel an openness in your lower back, but no pain. Let's release the hands and walk them back so they are under your shoulders. Lifting up. Wonderful job. Let's. All meet back in our downward dog, pedaling your heels. And taking your right foot forward. So if you do have a chair, you can put your hands on your chair. We're gonna fan our arms up overhead into warrior two. So you can drop your back heel, bring those arms up and out. Beautiful job here. Let's cartwheel back down. Or back down to your chair, pivot on the back foot. We're pressing through the front heel, lifting up, fan those arms straight out into that strong warrior two position. And then we're coming back down, pivot on the back foot. Three is a charm, coming back up. Awesome. And back down. Let's take our right foot back into downward dog. And our left foot forward. So you'll see me from the other side. Let's lift the arms up into warrior two on this side. Cartwheel and frame that left foot. And come back up, pushing through the heel into your warrior two. Wonderful, come back down. We're still breathing. Our body is still strong. And we're cartwheeling down. Let's bring the right foot up to meet the left. You are in your forward fold here. 
hinging from your hips and we're lifting up to the sky, inhale. Hands to heart in prayer, relax your shoulders. Now in this position, I want you to rock your body forward and back without lifting your feet. We're going from the balls of your feet to your heels. Good. I want you to press all 10 toes into your mat, nice and strong. And maybe separate the feet or the toes a little more and then press down again. We're still rocking from the balls of your feet to your heels. Our bellies are tight, our glutes are engaged, shoulders are relaxed. Good, let's inhale here. Take a slight back bend. Again, shoulders relax. Keep it here. Now from this position, if you are okay here, if your tailbone is heavy, remember we're opening the arms and taking them, just letting them drop down your back. And let's fold forward. Wonderful, relax your head and neck, we'll shake it. Wonderful job. Let's take your left foot back into a low lunge here into our crescent lunge. So we're gonna come straight up. Our toes should be feeling nice and strong back there. Your heel is up. If your balance is a little off, you can place your hands on the wall or place your hands on a chair. We're trying to work on balance here. So even lower down if you can. Now we're keeping our knees safe here and the knee is staying stacked over the ankle. Strong position, dropping the hands down, framing the foot. Take the left foot forward, the right foot back. All five toes on that foot are spread. We're lifting up nice and high, arms overhead. Good, hold that balance, squeeze your belly. Look at one thing in front of you. Hold your balance, good, good, good. Lower down if you're able to. And take the hands, bring the foot, bring the right foot up to meet the left. Again, relax your head down. You'll lift up halfway, hold here. Create that space between your ears and your shoulders. Then drop down in your forward fold and let's hinge from your hips, lift all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Great job. We're just breathing here. Now let's lift the toes up. All 10 toes lift up. We're gonna try to roll the 10 toes back on the mat. So starting with your pinky, the next toe, the third toe, the second toe and the big toe. And then lift all 10 toes back up and we'll roll from the big toe all the way down to the pinky. Just think about each toe. And we'll do it again, left from your pinky to your big toe. Lift all 10 from your big toes to your pinkies. Nice job, inhale here. And exhale, hands to heart, we're diving forward. And now fingertips will tent on the mat or on your chair in front of you. We're gonna lift the heels up and lower your hips down. Straighten the legs, lower the heels. Lift the heels, separate the toes, drop the hips. Lift the hips, drop the heels. One more time, lift the heels, drop your hips. Lift your hips, drop your heels. Good, hands come down. Let's take both feet back. And lift up in your downward dog. Rock your hips side to side. You can separate your feet. 
whatever feels good here. Before we work on our balance, which will be planks today, we're going to settle back to your heels and just take a few breaths here. And maybe if you have it available, you can dra grab a little drink. It's a little sip so I can talk to you. So let's meet back in downward dog. We're going back to our mantra. So whatever you were thinking about at the beginning of class, your positive words of affirmation to yourself, go ahead and repeat that three times. As you rock your hips and feel good in the downward dog. We're still breathing. And we're all meeting with our toes touching. We're gonna come forward into our plank. So we're keeping our belly tight here. Now notice how much you use your toes on these. Our toes are nice and strong and happy. So we should be able to use them a little longer. Keep your belly tight, your back long. That PVC pipe will stay on there. If you need to drop your knees, just drop them from there. That's okay. If you're on your knees and you're finding that your wrists are a little taxed here, you can also take this on your fists. I wouldn't take a regular plank on your fists. But if you're on your knees, go ahead and go for it. Unless you feel a little wobbly or shaky, good. Now lift the knees back up when you're ready and hold on to that plank. Plank is almost the perfect pose. You are strengthening your upper body. You're strengthening the quads and your legs. You're strengthening your calf muscles and your core for sure, so your glutes, your abs, your back. Good, drop to your knees. Let's settle back. Deep breaths again. Reminding yourself of your positive affirmation. Uh, more planks. <laughs> more planks mean a happy body. This time we're on your elbows. So let's allow the elbows to settle under your shoulders. But we're pressing through the elbows so that we make sure we're not slouching into the elbows. So keep your back strong. Tuck the toes under. Lift the knees up. Really squeeze again through your glutes. Press back through the heels. Good. Keep your head away from your hands. Nice and long in your spine. Beautiful job. Stay here or drop your knees if you need to. Keep holding. Actually, if you drop your knees, that's a deeper stretch for your toes again. Good. Keep holding. You're doing a wonderful job. And drop. Like I said, for core strength, all over body strength, planks are one of the best. Hands under your shoulders. And let's make sure our pelvis is pressing down into your mat. We're squeezing your glutes. The tops of our feet are pressing down into the mat. And let's lift in your cobra. Inhale here, exhale, lower down. Inhale here. Exhale down. Just take them at your own pace. 
Good, how you doing out there? Nice job. Now hands tuck under your chin or your forehead, keeping that long spine. We're gonna roll the toes under and lift your knees up off of your mat, pressing back through your heels. You're squeezing your quads. You're keeping a slight bend in your knees, just a slight bend, just to keep them safe. Good, squeeze your glutes a little and press your pelvis down. Wonderful job, let's release that. Let's tap the tops of your feet onto the mat. Now, flipping toward me, the elbow is going to stay under your shoulder here. And we have happy stretched shoulders today too. So another bouncing pose we're gonna do this evening is a side plank. Many options here. So you can keep both knees bent and lift your hips from here. You can lift and lower throughout the time that we're holding, just to get a little stronger there. Be very aware if your head is falling forward or you're slouching in, you don't want that to occur. So make sure you're keeping your body strong as you lift, you still have that nice long spine. You're not dropping your chest forward. You can definitely use this hand to help in front. Just making sure that your whole front of your body is facing me. You can also take this top leg, cross it over and lift up from there. So you're pressing that foot into the mat as you lift. You can lift and lower from here. You can also hold from here. Like I said, there's many options in these planks. The next option would be to take your top leg straight out, the bottom knee stays on the mat and we come up that way. Also option to lower and lift. And the last option is to bring both feet out. You can stagger them or stack them and we're gonna hold in that position. So let's do whatever position is good for you. We're gonna to try to hold for 30 seconds or drop your hip and lift. You can also switch between the options, whatever you'd like to do. All right, let's go for that 30 seconds. Stay strong. I usually raise my arm up just to remind me to keep my body strong and not lower forward. Good, squeeze tight. And of course we're breathing, always breathing. How you doing out there? Remember, drop your hip and lift if you need to. You can also stay down there and just join us when you're ready. We have three, two, and beautiful. Let's go to the other side. Now on the other side, you may feel stronger, I would take the same options you took on the first side though, just so we can even out. I'm ready for 30 seconds, making sure that elbow is right under your shoulder. The legs come out. We're keeping our body nice and long and strong. Ready, let's lift and go for it. Don't allow your chest to fall forward. We're breathing. That elbow is directly under your shoulder. Yeah, you got it, good. You can even spread your fingers to keep that balance a little more. We have 10 seconds, that's all we have. Drop your hips and lift if you need to. We're working that core, we're working your balance all in one. That's it, awesome. I hope with me talking that took up some of the time. <laughs> of you thinking about your plank. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale, let's bring it down. I'm gonna face the other way so you can see me. When you take the arms back, I want you to open your chest here. Just allow your body to 
Relax back, your chin comes up. Good. And let's round through the spine. We're bringing the arms out in front, chin to chest. Inhale, arching the spine. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Let's pull both knees into your chest. You're going to really squeeze your stomach here with your hands behind your legs. You can lift your chest up a little higher. Good. Now let's flex and point the toes here. This may be a really hard position for you to be in. And if you're struggling, you can take the blanket and prop up your lower back. You can also take this on your back and just pull your knees into your chest. Good, let's hold here. Maybe start to expand the space between your knees and your chest. As long as you're still lifting your chest up, that's fine. Good, you can also lay back and do the same. Now we're gonna straighten one leg and keep the hands behind one leg. Good, you can point or flex, really up to you. Chest is still up, belly's still tight, and we switch legs. Pull the other knee back in, straighten the other leg. Beautiful job. Now for the challenge, both legs come out. Good, you can even take your hands out. Bring the knees back up, lift up a little higher, lift the arms. Wonderful, let's take the legs out. Take the arms out in front of you. Relaxing your shoulders. Chin comes down to your chest. We're rounding through our back and dropping down each vertebrae. Reach the arms overhead and let's lift the right arm up a little higher, the left arm up a little higher. Right and left, right and left. Interlace your fingers on top of your head, press the palms up. Let's bring both knees into your chest. Start to rock, massaging your lower back. <sighs> Option to circle the knees. Make sure you go in one direction and the other. Maybe lift your chin to your chest, roll up in a little ball, exhale here. Take the feet down to the mat and crawl them to the outside. Arms in a goalpost position, relaxing your shoulders down to your mats. And let's drop your knees from the right to the left, keeping both shoulders down on the mats. Let's release and take both legs out. Drag your fingers along the mat and let's take them down so they're away from your body. Your palms are up. Allow your toes to fall to the sides. And again, reminding yourself of your mantra. Just relax into your mats. You all did a wonderful job today.
And if you can allow yourself a few more minutes on your mat, I invite you to do so. If you'd like to end with me this evening, let's wiggle your fingers and then your toes. Start to move your arms and your legs. And let's roll slowly on your right side. Mm. And let's press to a seated position. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me this evening and every Tuesday evening. Thank you for trying new things and being wonderful just as you are. And let's end this evening by saying, the light in me honors the light in you. Taking a deep breath and saying namaste. Thank you all so much. You did an excellent job tonight as always. If you have any questions, comments, leave them with me and I'll take a few minutes to um, say goodbye, but I will see you next Tuesday at seven. Thank you all. Any requests are definitely welcome. Bye everybody. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Grace. Have a good week too. I look forward to seeing you all next week. All right, I'll see you then. If anybody in the meantime thinks of anything else, oh, I'll definitely do something similar again for sure. It's kind of good to uh, introduce yourself to your body parts. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Good night. See you then. <laughs>